Welcome Flip Clock fans to the Top 10 Movie TV Flip Clocks presentation. There are many flip clocks in the world of TV and movies, many more than you might expect, and new ones are discovered regularly. One in particular came to light recently and busts into the Top 10 unexpectedly. How does a movie TV flip clock achieve a Top 10 designation? The point system explained in the video description has hopefully made this a true and unbiased Top 10 list. First, a short honorable mention before the top 10, and then in the end credits, a list of other clocks that didn't make this video. The end credits are important because the compiling of a list of flip clocks on TV and in the movies took multiple collectors to establish. Thanks to all of them. And thank you for joining our show and being part of the community of flip clock fans. And now, on with the show. The Panasonic RC6035, appearing in the 1980s classic movie, The Breakfast Club. Sanyo RM5430 from the 1970s British TV series, Space 1999. The Copal RP160 in the hit TV show, The Sopranos. Timex Model 5102-401 in the 1994 Ron Howard movie, The Paper with Michael Keaton. The Faces West Model 3600 made a full screen appearance in the 1985 cult film, After Hours. Copal 801, the other Back to the Future flip clock. The clock also appeared in the movie Scarface. Sony TFM650W, shown once on the show Lost. And finally, the Panasonic RC6551 in the 1988 comedy film License to Drive. And now, presenting the top 10 movie TV flip clocks. Number 10, the General Electric 8113, the Hail Caesar flip clock. The clock can be seen multiple times on the desk of one of the main characters in this 2016 movie. Hail Caesar is a fun to watch movie and included the stars George Clooney, Scarlett Johansson, and Thanos. Number 9, Copal Model T7. There are multiple shots of this clock in only one scene of the movie Knowing with Nicolas Cage. Its total screen time was less than a minute, but its prominence contributed to it breaking into the top 10. The Copal Model T7 can be a very hard flip clock to add to your collection. A smartly styled 70s flip clock alarm, the clock is battery operated and was touted as having Copal's tuning fork mechanism. Number 8. The Copal Model 229 made two episodes of the TV series Mad Men. The series ran from 2007 to 2015. A perfect clock for the series, the Copal 229 is a flip clock alarm with day display. The clock in the show is a very hard to find black charcoal color. The clock can be found today primarily in wood grain, but also in red and yellow. Number 7. The Copal Model 201, here shown in the 1988 Twilight Zone series, Season 3, Episode 9, entitled The Call. The Copal is a classic clock-only flip clock, probably the first flip clock to be marketed in the United States in the late 1960s. This TV clock scored numerous points due to the number of scenes, the close-up, and the character contact. Number 6. Sony Model 8FC100W, known by some as the X-Men flip clock. The clock is hard to spot in the 2014 film X-Men Days of Future Past. The flip clock radio alarm made a more prominent appearance on the TV show Columbo in 1973. The Sony 8FC100W, sharing the big screen with the Wolverine as he travels back to the glorious 1970s. Now, the big top five. Number five, Sony TFM C480W, known moderately well as the Ghostbusters flip clock, due to it being spotted on the nightstand of Dana Barrett as she wrestled with Ghostbuster Dr. Peter Venkman in the 1984 cult classic, Ghostbusters. This Sony flip clock can also be spotted in the sci-fi movie, Watchmen. The Ghostbusters flip clock, number five on the big top 10 list. Number four, the Panasonic RC6003, widely known online as the No Country for Old Men flip clock due to its being shown near the sheriff's desk in the 2007 movie. The RC6003 was also shown full screen on the TV show Elementary season one episode 20, being the flip clock radio of Sherlock Holmes. The no Country for Old Men flip clock, coming in strong at number four. Now presenting the top three. Number three, the Panasonic RC6030, in eight distinct scenes of the Ryan Reynolds remake of the Amityville Horror from 2005. You can spot a movie mistake here as the RC6030 changes to the RC6040 for a short time, but then it goes right back to the 6030. The Panasonic RC6030 must be a top three flip clock by the point system as you will see. In fact, because of this flip clock's big screen exposure, it almost took over the number two spot. The clock flips multiple times and is a significant plot element as bad things happen at 3.15 in this horror film.
The clock additionally got full screen display in The American Gigolo, the 1980 film starring Richard Gere. It was also shown full screen in the Netflix 2022 film White Noise. Previously relatively unknown as a movie flip clock, the Panasonic RC6030 has seized the number three spot on the top ten list. Number two, the world renowned Back to the Future flip clock, the Panasonic RC6015. This flip clock radio alarm belonged to the main character Marty McFly, played by the beloved star Michael J. Fox. The clock is seen flipping to two different times, alarming to two different songs. The Panasonic RC6015 is a highly coveted flip clock by fans of this movie trilogy. It commands very high prices online and can be hard to find in excellent condition due to its tendency to crack. The Back to the Future flip clock can make up the central component of a Back to the Future fan display. It's basically the holy grail of movie memorabilia for these fans. A must-have item from the movie. The Panasonic RC6015 clearly established as the number two movie TV flip clock. And now, a surprise to no one, the number one movie TV flip clock. Sit back, get some popcorn, and enjoy. Groundhog Day, starring Bill Murray as the rude, self-centered, unlikable weatherman, Phil Connors. Her prediction, it's going to be cold, it's going to be gray and it's going to last you for the rest of your life. Andy McDowell as the beautiful, kind, caring news producer, Rita. Chris Elliott as Larry, the socially awkward, geeky cameraman. Stephen Tobolowski, the goofy insurance salesman, Ned Ryerson. And starring the Panasonic RC6025 AM FM radio alarm flip clock as the dreaded flip clock of never ending doom. Okay, campers. Weatherman Phil Connors is trapped in a time loop, reliving February 2nd. Day after day, he wakes in a bed and breakfast in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania to cover the Groundhog Day festivities for the news station where he begrudgingly works. A thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. What a hype. Like they used to mean and something regrettably, town, they used Phil wakes each out, day as the flip clock You're radio hypocrites. flips from 5.59 to 6 a.m., alarming to the horrid Sonny and Cher song, I Got You Babe. In this movie, this Panasonic flip clock flips again, and again, and again, and again, 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 again. Again, 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 and again, and again, and uh, and again, and uh, again, again. Actually, it is shown flipping from 5.59 to 6 a.m. 11 times in this most awesome movie, released in 1993. The clock is seen in 15 separate scenes in the movie, securing its place as the king of the movie flip clocks collected the world over by movie buffs. Well, what if there is no tomorrow? Fans of Bill Murray and collectors of flip clocks. The Groundhog Day flip clock, the Panasonic RC6025, yes! indisputably the most desired flip clock in the world. I'll give you a winter prediction. It's going to be cold, it's going to be gray, and it's going to last you the rest of your life.